Hey guys, this is Jack, and today I'm going to be showing you um, this cool tutorial on using Action Essentials 2. And we're going to have a guy shooting a gun, and then he gets shot. So, let's get our source footage. Um, I just recorded this thing. I used, I used it for another tutorial. So let's drag this into a new comp. So here we go. So I'm shooting, and I get shot. Alright. First, we need some uh, muzzle flashes. So I'm using Action Essentials 2. Um, it costs $100, and you can get it from videocopilot.net. I highly recommend it. But anyway, I'm going to scroll down here to Muzzle Flash Straight, and I'll take a Muzzle Flash Straight 2. So here we go. Let's drag it into the comp. Oh, scale it down. Remember, if you want to scale this down, uh, like, I don't remember the word, but hold Shift, and it uh, scales down a bit. So... Let's move this out of the way, and let's go to the exact time when I shoot. That'd be about here. So let's move this over. It's actually two frames, but I want just one, so let's move that. Let's move this over to here, put it on the gun. Well, I think I could scale this down a bit more, probably. Alright, so we shoot it. I'm just going to do that muzzle flash. I'm not going to do any of the others, just for the tutorial. But... Anyway, now what we're going to do for some light, we can uh, create a layer of new, crap, new adjustment layer. Let's call the switches. Set the mode to add. Hold on, I think i got to add a curves. Just a sec. Alright, so that's brightening it, brightening it up a lot. So we're going to go over here and take the pen tool and mask out the spots we wanted to make a light. Freddy W also has a great tutorial on this. I would highly recommend checking it out. But anyway, you're just going to do that. And uh, maybe like that right there. Actually, wait. Uh, probably move that up. Whoa. Right there. Oh, crap. Okay. So now you're going to hit M on the keyboard. And I'll bring up your masks. Now we just want to hit uh, F and I'll bring it to feather. So let's select all of these, press shift, and move the feathering up a lot. And you're going to go to uh, your mask on the wall and bring the feathering up a lot more. So we've got some light. Now we're going to move this to right where he shoots it and then move it two frames. We're going to hit a P, no, 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 not P, uh, T, T, all right. It's going to bring you to the opacity. So keyframe, go to the end, and go to zero. So that way it'll sort of fade out. So, uh, let me take this for the work area. We play this. That's basically, that's it. Crap, we're Boom. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you how to make him get shot with some cool blood. Alright, so let's go to the part where he gets shot. Right there. Project. Double click. And we're going to go back to Action Essentials 2 and go to Blood. Blood Burst. Let's use Blood Burst 13. Drag it in. Move it to the spot where you want it. Um, start you right there. Crap. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use this one. Let's see. Blood Burst 11. I want one that comes in the middle. Yeah, this one works. Okay. So let's move it over. Okay. Alright. Scale it down a lot. move that right to the spot. Actually, you know what, I could scale it down a bit more. Alright, then play it. So, you got some blood. Now, we want some blood to hit be on the wall behind him. What we're gonna do, we take blood splat one, just drag it in. Good. That's kind of disgusting. Alright, that's the spot where it goes. Scale it down. Let's put it here. I want to put it behind the other one. So now, 
you can see that it flies like that. But you, as you can see, well, not really, but it's on top of him. So we need to mask him out. So let's take the pen tool and create a little mask. Crap. Now we're going to hit M, keyframe mask path. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn this one off. Oh, wait. By the way, set the mask to subtract. All right. So now we got to put it on here. Let's edit the mask a bit. Put it over to like there. Let's get that. Uh, that's probably good. We just need to get it till it's be it's not behind his head anymore. Almost there. Um, yeah, basically just gonna be doing this. Some shots take take hours of just rotoscoping it out. It can get kind of annoying. Uh, we almost got this. That's probably good. We don't need, we don't really don't need to do that anymore. So now, watch that. He gets shot. Oh, forgot to turn this back on. All right, let's right on preview. So now, you can see he gets shot and the splatters on the wall. You can check out my other tutorial on uh, creating handheld camera look and uh, basic motion tracking. So if you're holding the camera, you can motion track that to the wall using the same technique I showed you in that video. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, please um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, see you next time.